Hey, what's up guys? Today is Monday and I'm in the shop and I've got a few things going on here uh, today, but uh, I wanted to tell you that I had a, a video ready for Friday. I uploaded it and had the title and all that or set and the thumbnail created. I never set it to public. It was, it, it was still, it was set to private and it's still set to private. Um, totally just slipped my mind. I don't know how I didn't uh, after I had everything ready, I don't know why I didn't set it to public right away. So, uh, anyway, there was a video Friday, but you guys didn't see it. Uh, I'll try not to do, do that again. Uh, but I got a few things going on today. Uh, first thing is that I ha that I got done. Uh, I got a video edited, not for me. It was for for somebody else. Uh, so I got that done. Um, I've got a little spoon here that a friend of my mother's asked me to sand down and put some more uh more oil on it so i did and so i got that done for her she cooks with this i'm not real sure what kind of wood this is uh if you guys know let me know what kind of wood that is it's kind of cool uh, because I, on my list of things to do i want to make a um like a stirring paddle for like a, a big bowl of soup or gumbo or jambalaya or you know, something like that. So I don't know, I'm not real sure what kind of wood to make that out of. Uh, my first thought was hickory. Um, and then somebody had told me cypress. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so if you have, if you guys have any experience with, um, you know, cooking utensils or that kind of thing, what kind of wood can I make a big stirring paddle out of? Uh, Cause that's something that I'd like to do. Uh, in the future i don't know when maybe sometime this year but uh i'm not real sure what kind of wood that is that little spoon so if you guys know let me know uh the other thing is i've mentioned this piece of red oak before i'm gonna make some shelves out of this this week um i wanted to get started on the um the bench and the fire pit for sure this week but now it's starting to rain outside it's supposed to rain a couple of days due to the hurricane uh, and so I don't really want to get started on that if I'm not gonna be able to be outside doing that and recording so uh, I'm gonna get this project done because we do need some shelving uh, for the shelving parts to the separator for the shelves I'm gonna be using this uh, black iron pipe uh, those clamps are the same pipe that these table legs are made out of. So those, I get at Lowe's and they will cut those pipes down to whatever size you need and thread the ends. My first thought was, well, I'll go get a portable bandsaw, a metal cutting saw, cut my own pipe and do my own threads and just do everything on my own. But if, you know, if somebody were watching the video and they wanted to try to do this, um, that's a little bit, that's not the average that's not the average way somebody's going to be doing something is like go out and buy a saw and do their own threads and um so i mean the the the, the machine that lowe's has there in that little pipe section they'll cut it and thread it and everything so i'm not sure what i want to do um i don't really have a place for a saw or a need for one I'm all about learning something new, but if I was going to be using that, you know, like a, a portable bandsaw for cutting metal or something, if I had a need for that, maybe in the future, um, I might would do that and learn how to do that uh, as far as, you know, threading it and all that. But it would just, I would have to put it on a shelf somewhere because I don't have anything, uh, any other metal tools in my shop. So. Anyhow, I'm, I'm thinking about just doing, you know, going to Lowe's and recording that process and how that works and letting people know in the video, hey, this is available at Lowe's. You can have this done. This is how it works and that kind of thing and kind of be more informative instead of instructional kind of thing. So um, let me know what you guys think about that idea. I do need some shelving, so I want to go ahead and get that out of the way while this is going to be raining this week. So maybe that'd be a good project uh, this week. And then also I want to show you this jointer because somebody had emailed me or commented on a video. I can't remember, but they have the same jointer 
and they were saying, show me how you've got this dust port. And you can see it right through that little crack right there. You can see that dust port sticking down. But all of this is open under here. And all this tape, there's just tape everywhere. You can kind of get a little glimpse of some cardboard up in there. You kind of see that cardboard in there right in there. So let me see if I can get down here below it. All right, there's the dust port. And then the rest of this is cardboard. So I've got cardboard folded up into the, into the open areas where this, uh, that is an eight inch by eight inch piece of plastic. That's the edge of the plastic and that's the edge of the plastic. And it's got a four inch port in the center of it. And the rest of that is closed off with cardboard and just taped everywhere. So that's what that looks like. It's not pretty by any means, but it definitely works. So um, for whoever that was that asked me about that, that's how I've got that you know, installed. It's just taped with cardboard covering all the gaps and then that four inch port on the bottom to be able to connect a hose like this from a dust collector or you could actually possibly get a dust port with a two and a half inch dust port on it and hook up to a shop back. Um, but the dust port that I got from Amazon for that jointer and I've got, that's an eight inch, this is a 14 inch under my table saw. Both of those things are listed on my website uh, on the tools page under the dust collection section and i think it's listed like table saw dust hood uh jointer dust hood and um well those two things specifically the jointer is what this guy is asking me about so if you want to if you want to get that same one since you have my same jointer uh get the eight inch jointer dust hood out of that list it's just an amazon link and if you want to do it like i did it'll work fine it'll work great and even if you don't have a dust collector, you could get some uh, four inch uh, clear flexible pipe or even black pipe, uh, put on that and then just leave the other end in a bucket or something. And that way you don't have any dust or anything anywhere. Everything just funneled down into a bucket um, and then you don't have to sweep up anything. So there's a couple of options. I hope that helped. If, uh, if I didn't answer your question, comment on this video. Uh, and then I'll get, I'll try to do the best I can to help you get your, you know, what you need. So, but that's all I've got for today. If you've got any questions about anything in my shop, let me know. I'll be glad to answer them on these videos. Um, if you've got a question about um, uh, something that's in broader terms that maybe Jay and I can answer on the I Get Email series, um, leave a comment down below or you can go to my contact page and uh, ask it there. So, um, you know, I'll answer quick questions here and answer more in-depth questions with Jay over on those videos. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think about the shelving project and those pipes and stuff. And also let me know what you think about this, what kind of wood this is, uh, so I can be thinking about making one of those big uh, cooking paddles. So that's all I got for today, guys. See you tomorrow. Later.